1156 Marble Drive in uh, Port Office. I'm here for the scouts in the area. They want to have a program which was authorized in the Cecil Park area, but we'd like to encompass a BB gun and archery uh, training course in there. Um, I've talked to several uh, members already, and I have a portfolios here, about five more, I don't have enough for everybody. But my certificates, copy of the Boy Scouts uh, manual, shooting sports, and also um, what we do for inspections. Um, we have a basic range already set up for the, for the uh, BB guns over there. Um, I've done it before, I've been doing it for five years, so it's not my first time. It's the first time I understand for the township here. Um, trying to expand the sports. We believe shooting sports is, is a good part of uh, Americanism and citizenship. Um, and like I said, we do understand that some people do not appreciate BB guns or do not appreciate firearms, but we do encompass safety first. So if you teach safety first, and if you do not want to or your parents or the parents of the, of the scout doesn't want them to participate, they don't have to, but we think it's imperative that they get some type of training in gun safety. Um, Again, tonight I'm here, I'm the uh, range master for the BB gun. Um, here is Steve, he's the district executive for the council. He's the professional scout from Pittsburgh, um, in charge of uh, everything. And Jeff is here also, he's the archery range master. Um, if you have any questions about him or myself, and like I said, I have five portfolios here that if any board member would like to have, and you can see my credentials and see some of the uh, certificates that are being Yes, ma'am. Um, you started off by saying an archery training program, and then it morphed into BBs? Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, so Which is it that you're interested in? Both. We have both. Is this a one-time thing? It'll, it'll, be, it'll be for the three days. It'll be uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, this week. Only one week? Right, only for those three, three days. days. Three days, Tuesday, yes. Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, you won't even know there. No, I, I did go out and meet with you, Bob, ahead of time. We walked through the course out there, and there's going to be tarps, a double set of tarps put out there, one right behind where the targets are. That's now, what I, I think it's a, range. in the archery range and in the BB guns here. Um, I think it was good to point out, too, that these are Cub Scots, and the archeries, the bows are 15 pound draw weight. They're, they're, they're actually 10. 10, okay, they're less than than with us, so they're they're not really powerful. And the BB guns, you were telling me, aren't really that powerful either when they're, if they're the... They're, they're the 30 year old, old uh, rifle, the Red Rider, the Red ones, mm -hmm. ones, small mm -hmm. ones. Uh, they have other rifles, which I don't know about there yet, but they have air rifles, but you just, when you can you pump them up as strong as you want like to, but I instructed Scott Slaughter and you can pump them once because of the chance that they can pinch your fingers or just over a and stop and tell them just a couple months. When we discussed things earlier, what impressed me was the fact that we went over a lot of the safety that you present to the, the Cub Scots and what you do on it. And uh, I think what they're asking for permission tonight is that we go ahead and approve it. And from what I saw out there, I didn't see any problem. Kathy, was there any Parks Board members that, um, that, that were able to? I know they were copied on the email too. You speak up, Kathy. We can't. You, I'm sure they'll be very careful with the Cub Scouts. Yeah, the, the Parks Board doesn't seem to have any problem yeah. with it either, and that's what I was basically asking. Like I said, the, the BB range is basically set up except for my outer boundaries. I have the boundaries through the woods uh, taped off. I have a double tape there. So for somebody to come from the trail on the back side of the range, you have to cross three barriers, plus the natural barriers of, of the wooded area. Um, You're going to be well warned. <laughs> To get there, you, you almost have to fall, stumble, and you still will have trouble to get to the ant area where the river shoot. Does any of the supervisors have any questions? Would anybody like a member of, of, a, of one of these portfolios? Say, so I I got one of them, and it was very informative. I enjoyed reading it there. Um, so I would like to make the motion that we approve this. Second. Is there a second? There's a second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. So it's been approved. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank Thanks for coming out this evening. If you'd like, we can start tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Come uh, on by and do our statement of thoughts. More than welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.
So it'll be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday this week. You'll be doing a program. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate you coming. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Is there any more comments on uh, on anything to do with the township? <coughs> yes, I just have one comment. Uh, everybody's referring to that as Warstow Impoundment. That name has been officially changed. Can you come up to the microphone, please? Okay, can you hear me now? Warstow Impoundment is gone by the wayside. It is now Cecil Township 23 Impoundment, and that's a legal name change for that impoundment. So let's get the message across to people that it is Cecil Township 23 Impoundment. There's a sign right beside the entrance. Worstel's gone. He got a lot of threat. And really, he had nothing to do with that. He don't live in, he don't even live in Cecil Township. <clears throat> Cecil Township 23 Impoundment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Any you, other Rose. comments from anybody? Okay. Now we'll, we'll close the citizens' comments and we'll move on with our, our business meeting now. We had had our, ourselves our, as, as an ordinance hearing 